Hi, Dr. David Cullah here to discuss fractured toes. We've all done it. In fact, I've done it many times. I just did it two days ago. So I'm going to go over the best way to treat a fractured toe. There's really not much you can do, but one really good way to tell if you fractured your toe would be one trauma, slamming your toe on the table or a corner of a dresser or something like that. So stubbing your toe is the main cause of a fractured toe. Another thing could be dropping something on your toe, but a good way to tell that it's fractured other than taking an x-ray would be area gets black and blue. Okay, so um, if you see a lot of black and blue, then chances are it is fractured. You can also take a tuning fork and bang it and then stick the end of the tuning fork right on that bone on the tip of that toe. And if it increases the pain, the vibration, that also will tell you you have a fracture. But again, most often it does bruise. There's some bruising within 24 hours to 48 hours of that area. I had bruising within four hours of uh, fracturing my toe. So I'm going to give you the hands down the fastest, most effective way to treat a fractured toe. Now I've fractured my toe many times. I've also had turf toe and the same thing goes for turf toe. You can use this for turf toe. I've had all sorts of different fractures on different toes and I've done triathlons. As you can see, I'm an Ironman um, I have not done an Ironman on a fractured toe, thank God, but I have done an Olympic distance triathlon. And ironically, I fractured my toe four weeks before the race and I got my best time ever in that race. I had done that particular race four times. It's a New York City triathlon. So, folks, let me show you right now, without further ado, how to fix your fractured toe quickly, fast, so you can get back out there and do the things that you love to do. Okay, so first, before I show you my foot, I want to go ahead and show you what my foot looked like two days ago. So this was 48 hours from when I injured it. Now, two days later, I've done um, three or four laser treatments, and this is my ankle or my foot uh, 48 hours later and you can see there's a little bit of black and blue here and some swelling there But most of the black and blue is gone. Obviously, it's a big big difference Pain is down by about 50% in 48 hours. My guess is in another two to three days I should be able to walk on it just fine and get through this quickly now Here is what I've done cold laser therapy. This is the um, MR5 active pro laser by multi radiance and this is what I've used. I've used this for so many different injuries from Achilles tears, fractured toes to turf toe. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a treatment here. Well, we put it right on the toe and then I put it underneath and up a little bit higher here uh, just to reduce and flush out some of the swelling. So we go right on here where it's a little bit tender still and because this is a 50 watt laser, you know, each treatment time is about a minute, uh, two, a minute and a half, sometimes two minutes, but no more than that uh, in each spot. So this takes me about five minutes to treat my toe. It does not hurt. Uh, it's called cold laser therapy, but it's not going to make your toe cold. A lot of people think that when they first have the treatment done. So just something to be aware of. Um, but this is hands down the best thing for fractured toes. So not only does it reduce inflammation, reduce pain, but it also at the right frequency, it will actually stimulate osteoblastic activity, which is the precursors, the cells to building bone. And that's what you want when you fracture your toe. So thanks for tubing in. I hope you learned something. If you're curious about laser, we rent the lasers locally in New York City to patients or in the tri-state area. And we also sell lasers as well as offer laser treatments in the office. Feel free to comment below. If you have any questions or comments, we hope to hear from you. Thanks for tubing in.
Thank you guys so much. If you got anything from this video, or even if you just like this view of the Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building, give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. Appreciate you guys. Thank you.